Chicago Fire will return for its 11th season pretty soon, and fans are eager to find out which of their favorite characters will be returning along with it. We can probably expect a bit of a change-up in regards to some of the show's characters, but who will return and who is set for the chopping block? Today, we're discussing every character we know to be returning for Season 11. Stay with us. Let's take a quick look at how Season 10 finished up. Well, where do we start with that finale? The episode opens with Severide killing a man in self-defense by kicking him out of a window, with Campbell quickly blowing Dodge after his goon had used a knife to attack him. Severide and Stella are then shown in the build-up to their wedding, with old friends and colleagues Casey and Brett arriving in town for the big day. Casey can't quite believe how much Severide has changed, and Sev himself tells his best man how the firehouse isn't the same since he left. As problems arise surrounding the wedding venue, Casey saves the day by finding a boat and a captain to marry the pair. Severide then takes a call from his mom whose plane has been delayed. The couple then marry, with Bowden giving Stella away, but as they arrive at Severide's cabin to apparently consummate the marriage, a mysterious truck pulls up. What can this be? Almost certainly Campbell. With the wedding in full swing, Brett and Casey discuss their relationship, and elsewhere, Emma is told to clean out her locker by Hawkins, who has had enough of her. However, the whole situation seems to have done irreparable damage to Violet and Hawkins' relationship, as it seems Violet now has feelings for Gallo. Deary me. At the end of the episode, Casey gives Gallo his old axe, much to his delight, seemingly happy that Gallo is sticking with 51. What did you guys make of the season 10 finale? What do we know about the cast? for season 11 then. Stay tuned to find out. Fans were hopeful that with the return of Captain Casey at the end of season 10, he might be around for season 11. We saw Casey reveal that he wished Brett could return to Portland with him forever, which almost certainly means he won't be returning for season 11. As you will remember, he moved out to Oregon to raise his late friend Andy's young children. Given the way season 10 ended, we can probably expect Taylor Kinney to return as Severide, as well as Miranda Ray Mayo as the recently married Stella Kid. As for for the rest of the cast from season 10, we would expect the vast majority to be returning to the show. That would mean Iman Walker reprising his role as Battalion Chief Wallace Bowden. The character is integral to the firefighters of Truck 81, Engine 51, and Squad 3, and is a longtime veteran of the CFD. Christian Stolte should also be returning as senior firefighter Randall Mouch McColland. Mouch is another one of the old guard, so who would be seen perennially sitting on the couch in the lounge watching TV if Mouch wasn't about? Joe Minoso should also be back as Joe Cruz, one of Brett's old flames who in earlier seasons is seen continually bailing his younger brother out of trouble. In season 10, Cruz appears to have settled down as his son, Brian, is born. Who is your favorite character on the show? Who else will be returning then? Let's see. Having first appeared in season 7, Daniel Curie was updated to season regular in later seasons. It is thought that he will be back for season 11, with some suggesting wedding bells could be in the air. But what happened to his little brewery side hustle with Gallo and Violet? It. We would like to see these little storylines develop. Elsewhere, we would fully expect Randy Flagler to return as veteran firefighter Harold Cap of Squad 3. We can also probably expect to see David Eigenberg back in action as senior firefighter Christopher Herman. Having finally passed the lieutenant exam, he was promoted to lieutenant in season 7, becoming officer in charge of 51. Herman is somewhat of a father figure in the firehouse, so we couldn't imagine where they would be if he was to leave. Anthony Ferraris will more than likely be back in action as Tony, another member of Squad 3. Ferreris actually plays a version of his real-life self on the show, as he is actually a Chicago FD firefighter when not in front of the cameras. He brings a certain expertise to the role and also provides consultancy on various topics. We're pretty sure Hanako Greensmith will be stopping by again as Violet, as well as Alberto Rosende as Blake Gallo. What do you make of the cast? Give us your thoughts below. So, who definitely won't be returning? Well, as we revealed, Casey will almost Will certainly not be returning. The wedding will more than likely be the last time we see Jesse Spencer, at least for a while. He revealed after the 200th episode that he wanted to spend more time with his family, which is absolutely fair enough. We know that this character hasn't been killed off, so that at least keeps the possibility alive for any potential further appearances. Another character who won't be returning is Lieutenant Jason Pelham, who of course was filling in for Casey. It was decided that 51 would be best served by promoting Kid to fill Casey's boots, which we can appreciate. What about you? Of course, Pelham could easily make further appearances, just like Casey, as he was simply transferred to a different firehouse. And many fans will be happy that Emma Jacobs won't be returning. As we saw at the end of Season 10, she was fired after some pretty terrible behavior in the line of duty. She had ruffled a few feathers of other characters on the show, as well as fans, 
as she attempted to blackmail her way to the top, but thankfully, she revealed her true colors and was given her marching orders. Which other characters have you guys seen enough of? Let us know below who you think should be called. Are there any completely new faces then? Stay tuned to find out. So far, we only know of one new addition to the upcoming season, as Jake Lockett joins the popular show. Whilst there's no confirmation yet as to who Lockett might play, it is thought that he could potentially be joining Truck 81. This is based on the fact that he's been spotted by our well-placed spies on set rocking a fire department shirt. As well as his wardrobe giveaways, he has also been spotted regularly aside Miranda Ray Mayo, who plays Truck 81's Stella Kid. Do you guys think there will be any other additions once the 11th season drops? Let us know below. Next up, rumors that season 11 could be the last. As we know, the hit show has been part of the proverbial TV furniture for the past decade or so, but some people in the know have suggested that the upcoming season could actually be the last. Season 11 is the last of a multi-season deal which NBC announced back in 2020. The network's chairman said at the time, executive producer Dick Wolf has proven time and time again that he makes shows audiences love, and we are delighted, excited, and proud that as part of this epic deal with Wolf Entertainment, NBC's loyal audience will know that their favorite shows have a certain future for the next three years. However, Chicago Fire has proven time and time again that it's a ratings juggernaut, and the season 10 finale was the most watched Wednesday show when it dropped. This is impressive given the fact that it was up against shows such as Survivor and The Flash, so we're not really sure it makes sense to cancel it just now. Dick Wolf also has previous history when it comes to heavy-hitting shows, as Law & Order ran for what seemed like an eternity, so we know his shows definitely have longevity. We believe it'll be around for some time yet to come. And finally, when exactly can we expect the show to return? Stay with us to find out. Well, filming is thought to have just about wrapped for the 11th installment of Chicago Fire, but the show is still around a month away from returning to our screens. As we know, autumn is pretty big for returning shows, with others within the procedural drama genre, such as NCIS, set to drop in September. Netflix has recently revealed that the show will make its long-awaited return next month, September 21st to be precise. That means it will be retaining its Wednesday slot. We can also reveal that the season openers of other Windy City dramas, Chicago Med and Chicago PD, will also drop on the same night, giving fans of the three shows plenty of action. Will you guys be tuning in when Chicago Fire drops on September 21st? Let us know below. As usual, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to tune in again next time when we will be discussing all sorts of other cool bits in pieces. And why not do us a big favor by liking and sharing today's video, whilst also subscribing to our channel. Bye guys!